Hello, my name is Mitchell Dignan, and today I will be presenting on the model dependent realism concept. Um, and it's a concept that was created by Stephen Hawking and Leonard Mladenov, and it was published, published in their book called uh, The Grand Design. And the term model dependent realism refers to scientific laws that we have created in efforts to explain the natural world. However, the theory states that the models we create for the universe are only viable based on how well they describe physical reality. And what is meant by this is that there's no one true model of the universe, and there may never be. Different theories are equally successful at explaining physical realities that we have observed as humans. As long as they do not overlap and disagree, they are equally correct at explaining nature. So because of this, one cannot effectively explain the whole universe from one model they have created. They can only discuss how effective the model is at explaining the observations that people have made about that region of study. Now these observations that people make are entirely based upon sensory input that the brain then interprets. A quote from The Grand Design by Hawking Lovnov reads, Model-dependent realism is based on the idea that our brains interpret the input from our sensory organs by making a model of the world. When such a model is successful at explaining events, we tend to attribute to it and to the elements and concepts that constitute it the quality of reality or absolute truth. Now, we all believe that our realities are true, and every day we feel like we experience the absolute truth. For our experience, the model is our, our sensory input and our brain's interpretation. It is correct in explaining how we live our lives and what we do, because we understand what our senses tell us. But it tells us nothing of the universe's origin. For example, the Big Bang theory and evolution theories are simultaneously effective at explaining the origins for the universe, Big Bang theory, and life, evolution. They are both equally viable because they do not contradict one another and they don't overlap. It is pointless to question the truth of a model because the only question that should be asked is whether or not that model aligns with the observations that were made. Therefore, no model is more important than another in the broader scheme. Uh, another quote from the book reads, it might be that to describe the universe, we have to employ different theories in different situations. Each theory may have its own version of reality, but according to model-dependent realism, this is acceptable so long as the theories agree in their predictions whenever they overlap, that is, whenever they can both be applied." Quote. In summary, each model that correctly explains the physical observations made by us is equally correct as the next. What this also means is that each successful model shapes a reality of its own. Therefore, the Hawking Mladenov, the true nature of the universe is a complex mesh of realities that shape the larger one as a whole. When technology advances and we have more physical data, better models are created. And when we do replace an old model, our understanding of that reality grows, which may impact our understanding of reality as a whole. The study of physics is a good example because most of us think that physics is meant to discover more about nature, how it is. A uh, quote from Niels Bohr from the early 1900s read that it is wrong to think that the task of physics is to find out how nature is. Physics concerns what we say about nature. The physics that, end quote, the physics that we employ to understand nature only concerns with how we see and talk about nature. It does not scratch at its true reality, only our perception of it. What is true and false in our lives is entirely subjective because we live such a limited experience of the universe through our sensory information only. We are limited to our own observations and therefore we can only understand the models we have created that align with what we are able to perceive. Even if there are infinite realities, we may only be able to see some of them based on what we can physically observe. Thank you.